glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you come back tomorrow and the next day, especially because it is Halloween week. The end of the week welcomes the beginning of Christmas time, and the end of the week begins running races for Run Disney. Wine and Dine is this week. Sarah is snoozing right now. I have a really bad headache, like probably the worst I've had in years. But I wanted to update my running list. I don't think we're going out tonight. But I woke up and did an 18 mile run today. And I saw Joey Fatone, because apparently he's local. So that was cool. Ran a good 18 miles, which brings my year to date mileage to 700. And 31 miles. I have a thousand mile goal that I'm giving myself, and we're only $600 away from our personal goal of fundraising of $10,000 for the American Cancer Society. So I'm hoping we can do some fun stuff this week to kind of push that fundraising bar up. The link is always down below. It's probably the first link you'll see in our info of every video. Um, but we're just so humbled because we've already raised over $9,000. We're only $600 away from our goal. But I don't know what tonight and today holds. We need to go grocery shopping. I need to go kind of work clothes shopping. But my head is excruciatingly painful right now. Here's this too. You were sleeping for the last bit. I woke her up by vlogging. All right, right now my migraine has gone from migraine status to hardcore headache, which means I can actually sit up. So I'm actually going to unwrap our pottery things. I don't, we're not going to hang it today because we have to figure out how we're going to hang it. But are we putting it over here, Sarah? We're putting it over here. Question is above the couch or above the TV. That is to be determined, but I want to unwrap all this to look at all the pretty things, get the stickers off, and show you guys everything that we got. Alright, I got them all unwrapped and de-stickered and everything. We got five of them. All different shapes and sizes. Someone's a little bit more awake right now. Um, these don't have hanging devices on them, but we're using these ones behind them. So like this one, we won't probably use that wooden base, but it'll just be this. Hung up with this leather strap. This one's going to be held up by this lighter string material, because then we'll have this darker with the beads. It's really similar structure, but different look with the beads and the actual glass of it. And we got that apple looking one and then this teardrop looking one. I just want to hang them and put plants in them. I'm so impatient. The other thing to discuss that Sarah and I have been talking about with our apartment is we talked about putting the plants up here, but we also want to get make a theme from our kitchen to here to the plants, where the plants will be on black, potentially black piping. And we'll also we'll make a bookshelf here out of black piping and dark stained wood, and then. Wait, just look at us. Eve's been like this, not to jinx it, for like honestly over 30 minutes. But then the same black shelving that we'll make in the living room, we oh want to no! put we want to put two or three, maybe three or three and a half foot shelves in the kitchen right there. And I was just looking up like on a DIY site, and I knew it'd be cheaper to do it ourselves, but it's like significantly cheaper. Like she got up. I'm sorry. To do like I found this on DIY Candy. To do this shelf unit. It's got all the different what you need to do and everything. I love how that looks. And it's got links on this website if we don't want to find like a local store. And it's like here's a 12 foot. I mean we would probably need three to three and a half feet for the kitchen each. But that's 321 for that. And obviously you need like the fixings and wood and everything. But the plants won't. The plant will just be a bar coming out of the ceiling here with those containers suspended from it. Oh, but she's still relaxing. Kind of successful, kind of not. I got undies. Undershirts and undies. Um, I've never worn these kind before. It's a new era for Peter Brookhart. <laughs> but um, we went into the dressing room with five pairs of pants and came out with one. But, so, but yeah. we're at Marshall's, obviously. Um, we'll get you another pair, though. We should check out the Lama Del Rey for our friend. 
What is the next one? Right done. Yeah. <laughs> I call it Lana Del Rey. One more quick stop for dinner. This is my favorite Publix deal ever. And they got moose because it's Christmas time now. What else we got? We got soups, vegetable lentil, gross tomato basil. <laughs> Peter doesn't like them. And these classics oh. that we haven't had in a while since our old apartment. Yeah, they're so yummy. Thai basil vegetable dumplings. And that's a bread. block of bread. <laughs> I feel like that's been like our main comfort food. Bread. And I feel like I need to knock it off because of the sugar. Yeah. Um, well, we'll scale back when we start getting back into treatment. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is super stinking cute. Oh. Do you feel like we didn't do a good job with our pumpkins this year? We oh, we were demon. supposed to get body armor for you. I can get one right here. Wow. Here's the dinner. We got some pot stickers, soy ah. sauce, an angry puppy, ah. tomato basil. You have dinner. Ah. We also had an incident. I burnt myself on soup. Pretty bad. Yeah, but I'm holding little ice cube or like whiskey stones. It's not like, I don't know if you can tell. It's a little. That's bad. I just... I think, you're gonna, I think yeah. you're gonna blister. Really? On your hand. Mm -hmm. Alright, you know what this means. The end of the vlog has come. Today's the 27th and good old Honest Abe. Very classic statement there. Whatever you are, be a good one. I dig it, I dig it a lot. You ready for bed? You crazy buffoon? You furry Snickers bar? Look how crazy my hair is. Eve started licking my hair <laughs> on the couch when we were snuggling. Sorry, today was a, a little bit of an off vlog. Um, no, we don't got to apologize. You're right. Oh, I, mean, I, I apologize to myself for having a migraine. <laughs> we both did. We both slept in the middle of the day, which never happens. Um, I did run 18 miles. Yeah, I did not. I PR'd a half marathon. I got I got down to 204.46, and my goal is two hours on Sunday. Yeah. It was officially a run Disney week. Yeah. Starting and it's tomorrow. a busy week. We have lots of visitors. And we have Halloween and the race weekend. Mm -hmm. So Halloween is like, it's crazy because we, we really just sat down and we're like, okay, we need to prioritize Halloween-y things to do. So we're going to see Magic Kingdom one more time yeah. with fall decorations so because this we have is such what a we, busy weekend. Yeah. And we think that if we don't go between now and then, we, we run the risk of not again. seeing fall because they're going to start getting ready for Christmas. Christmas. So we prioritize seeing Magic Kingdom in its fall glory, our favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. Going to Fort Wilderness to see all the decorations. If you didn't know, there's a lot of families that come down in Fort Wilderness and stay in the same lots or in the same little areas. And then they they plan out like all year long their decorations to even coordinate sometimes with the other families. Yeah, It's so cool. If you ever get a chance yeah. during this week, go down and see it. I know, I mean, during this week in all of October and September, really people do go all, I know our friend, Promise it goes there and stays during the fall, so I'll link a video of hers here if you want to see it, like from somebody actually staying there. Mm -hmm. um, and then also we decided because we're not going to a Halloween party this year that we wanted to see the new fireworks, so we're gonna go to the top of the World Lounge. We're gonna try to. We're gonna try to. It's not guaranteed. Right to watch them from there. We we did that before, and it's really cool with the three, well not like the perimeter fireworks. Um, and hear the music. So we're gonna do that on Tuesday because there's a party. Fort Wilderness on Wednesday, the night before Halloween. And then Halloween we have the Run Disney Expo. And that'll eat up most of the evening. Yeah, and then we're gonna meet up with some friends after that. So that is the rest of our Halloween before well, we race weekend. And the rest of the week is racing affiliated stuff. Yes. Friday is 5K, Saturday is 10K, Sunday is half marathon. Yeah, so. Busy week. I'm busy, 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 but I'm happy now we know that we're gonna accomplish everything that yeah. we want to. And we're gonna watch Halloween movies every night and burn all the Halloween candles. It's been a weird Halloween season. Yeah. Alrighty. Good night, it's good friends. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.